There are other solutions that can help mitigate altogether the challenges of rot, the challenges of having a natural finite product, and the challenge of pests. Welcome to the Banda Minute, where today we are answering the question, what's under your roof? Now at a certain stage in the development, after the lintels or the ring beams have been cast, it's important for us to ask what kind of superstructure will make up the underpinnings that will support the roof. And this is where, like many of you have obviously seen, the timber truss works come into place. Zile mbao yaani zinakuanga zimefunjwa triangle zenye zinashikilianga roof. But the question is, is timber the only trussing solution available in today's market? And that's what we're discussing on today's Banda Minute. Now the first category of trussing solutions is of course the most popularly found and that is timber. Now timber breaks down into two categories. One, softwoods like your pinewood and cypress and number two, your hardwoods like eucalyptus or more commonly known blue gum. Now these timber solutions come with a couple of advantages. Number one being that they are locally available, meaning they are easily found at your nearest timber yard. Secondly, by virtue of the fact that these are indigenous trees, the cost per foot is actually quite affordable, meaning that they make up nearly 70% of trust works that we see in real estate developments nowadays. However, timber does come with certain disadvantages. On the flip side, we need to understand that timber being a natural product is number one, quite susceptible to the changes in weather. And when exposed to the elements, especially water, it is not uncommon to find that timber trusses will suffer from rot. Secondly, timber, by virtue of the fact is a natural resource, suffers from one arc nemesis, and that is the terrible longhorn beetle. Now you may have commonly seen timber trusses with finger size hole in them, and that, the longhorn beetle, is the culprit behind these woos. By virtue of the fact that it burrows into the trusses, it interferes with their structural strength, and over time, you start to see cracks, and eventually, even in some cases, roof structures that have collapsed due to extensive damage by the longhorn beetle. These are the challenges that you will face when it comes to doing timber trusses. However, there is a way to elongate the lifespan of your timber structure, and that is to make sure that you buy timber that is well treated before you fit it as your trusses. This will mean that you are able to elongate the lifespan of your roof structure. There are other solutions that can help mitigate altogether the challenges of rot, the challenges of having a natural finite product, and the challenge of pests. And that brings us to our second trussing solution, and that is steel truss works. Now steel is broken down into two categories, and that is one, light gauge steel, which is used in residential developments, and two, heavy gauge steel, which is used predominantly in industrial applications, and two, infrastructure developments. Now what makes steel such a great trust solution. Now number one, by virtue of the fact that it has got high tensile strength, an ode to our physics teachers back then, steel allows us to cover vast open spaces without the need of having supporting columns or too many joints in the structure. Now secondly, steel, by virtue of the fact is not an organic compound, is able to last a long time without the risk or the chance of being attacked by pests. Third, Steel is very fire resistant, which means that in the worst case scenario that your structure was ever to catch fire, you would have a lot more time before your roof structure actually caved in. Next, in the long list of advantages for steel, is the fact that steel is easily pre-cut off-site and can be delivered in sections, which are just quickly assembled by a team of skilled technicians, making sure that we are able to reduce significantly the time it would take to traditionally assemble a timber truss roof. Also important to mention is the fact that after the assembly, this roof structure carries a high strength and means that you are open to use any roofing material that is available out there in the market, from your lightest to, of course, your heaviest, which is concrete roofing tiles. However, steel does come with certain disadvantages. The key amongst which is cost. It's expensive. There is no hiding from that, ladies and gentlemen. The cost is quite significant. 
and that is why it has remained the mainstay of industrial applications and has only just started to make headway into residential development. Secondly, in the list of disadvantages for steel is the fact that if it is not galvanized, it has the risk of suffering rust. Now rust is catastrophic when it comes to steel applications because in order to repair a rusted section, a lot of work would need to go into the repair. And this could mean up to removal of certain sections of your roof. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the delicate balance that you have to go to. If you must go steel, remember to always use galvanized steel. Next, in your list of trussing solutions, is one that has really become a game changer in real estate. And that is aluminium roofing trusses. Aluminium comes with certain advantages. Key amongst which is its light weight in comparison to its high strength. Now this means that you can have an amazing roof structure without heavily taxing your building's superstructure. The second advantage of using aluminium trussing is the fact that it gives you the option to come up with amazing roof structures and shapes due to its high malleability and high ductility. This means that amazing roof solutions can really be brought out, giving your architect the chance to bring out an architectural wonder when it comes to roofing. Third, and most importantly, in the list of advantages for using aluminium trusses is the fact that aluminium is neon immune to nearly every kind of corrosion and elemental damage that you can have. This means that your roofing structure is going to be able to last through the test of time while carrying nearly any kind of roofing material at the top. Again, from lightest to your heaviest concrete roofing tiles. Now finally, when it comes to roofing trusses, we come to the game changer in real estate development, and that is concrete roofing trusses. Now concrete truss works have recently been adopted in real estate, following their success in large infrastructure developments, such as bridges and overpasses. Now the reason why concrete has been adopted in real estate developments for truss works is the fact that it gives us the near infinite chance to make humongous open space rooms, which is what the markets have been calling for, for years on end. So let's take a look at the advantages of using concrete truss work. Now number one is the fact that concrete trusses are integrated in the development of the unit from slab level, which means that this is the strongest solution, not just in terms of roofing structure, but also in terms of the overall strength of the building. By virtue of the fact that these are not two separate structures sitting atop each other, but one integrated unit that has been cast from foundation level all the way to roofing. Now the other advantage of using concrete trusses is the fact that it gives you the ability to have a flat roof. Another advantage of using concrete trusses is the fact that they will stand the test of time because they are also completely immune to all kinds of corrosion and or weather damage. This means that you have the lowest maintenance cost in all of the trussing solutions that are available. The other advantage of using concrete trusses is the fact that due to their strength, they are able to carry any and all roofing solutions that you may have. Again, from the lightest all the way to the heaviest. There are certain disadvantages of using concrete trusses and key amongst them is the fact that they are extremely heavy by virtue of the fact that they use reinforced concrete. Secondly, their transportation if you go the precast route is also quite expensive and will require you to have a hoist on the site in order to get them up there. Third, they need very, very special labor in order to be able to assemble them if precast and or cast them on site if you choose to do them yourself. So these, ladies and gentlemen, are the trussing solutions that are available for you in this market. Now timber is a diminishing resource which is quickly calling upon us to adopt more and more of the alternate solutions when it comes to doing your trussing. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for coming along with us on this timber truss ride and join us next time as we discuss what roofing solutions you can actually have on top of your trusses. From us here at Banda Homes we say Kwaheri and that was the Banda Minute.